Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we'll try to understand that what is API? What is the concept of API? How API works? What are some real life examples of API and how they works? We'll see all of them in this video. Okay. So first of all, what is the full form of API? So full form of API is application programming interface. So let's take these three words and let's uh, and let me move to a white screen so that I can explain you that how uh, the theory of API works. So let's take these three words application programming interface. So let's draw a picture from these three words. So let me select the pen from here. Okay. So we have a application and then we have a software, uh, sorry, we have a program which is acting as an interface. Now I know that you are very much confused. So let me explain you that what is happening here. So uh, let's say that we have a application A or a software A. Okay. And then we have a application or a software B. Okay. Now B has a really big database, right? B has a really big database with many values like name, age, salary. This is just an example. Uh, so yeah, it has a really big database and A wants to access its data, maybe for data analysis, maybe for some other work. He just, uh, sorry, A just wants to access the data. Now, what can A do? Can A go to B and simply say that, okay, give me the ID and password. I just want to access your database. No. Why will B give the ID and password to A? Why will B trust A? So, uh, what can happen now? What can A do to access the data? Now, here comes API. API is a programming interface or mediator between A and B. Uh, now what it does is, let's say this is the API. Okay. So what it does is A first needs to go to API, then register itself. Now there are many API that are public. You can just make the request, but mostly APIs needs a login. Okay. So what A will do is it will go to API, register itself and then get an API uh, key or an, uh, just a second, API key or an API credential. Okay. Then what it will do is it will write an program or whatever he or she wants to do. They have to make an request to API. Okay. So this is my key. This is my credential. I want to access the data and retrieve this, this amount of a uh, piece of database uh, of data from this database. Okay. So this is how API works. API is a mediator in between two applications for a safe and secure transfer of data. Now let me take some real life examples so that the concept is really clear in your mind. So what I'll do is I'll clear the screen. Where is the mouse? Okay. So let me clear the screen here. Okay. So now uh, our screen is clear. So let's take the example of Twitter API. This was the previous project that we have created. Now let's say that we have Twitter here, this huge social media platform, Twitter, and it has a huge database with all the user data. Now here is me creating a small software and I want to access uh, some of the data from this database. I want to access, let's say the top trending hashtag from uh, India. So can I go to Twitter and just ask for their ID and password for database? Why would they give to me? Why would they trust me? So what instead I did was I went to uh, Twitter API. Twitter API, registered myself there, got my API credential. Actually, there were four values, API key, API secret, and two more keys that I don't remember. So uh, then I wrote 
a program, a Python program, in which I mentioned that these are my API credential and I want to access the top 10 trending hashtag. So then I uh, ran my program. That program went to API, made a get request, and then the API went to database, extracted that data, and then send it to me, which I printed on my screen. Okay, so this is how API works. Now, some of API have some restriction, like in Twitter API only, uh, they have like six, uh, 6,000 requests per day or something like that. Okay, so there are various APIs present online. And let me take another example real quick, uh, which is actually very much in use. Now, whenever you go to a website, right? Whenever uh, you go to a website and you want to log in or you want to sign up, you often see these three buttons. Log in with Google, log in with Facebook, and now we are also seeing login with Apple. Okay, so what are they? They are also a API. Whenever you click on these button, they simply go to the API of let's say uh, Google and then ask whether uh, the user from this email ID is present in your database or not. Then uh, our API, now let me shift myself from here just a second okay okay uh where was i okay so yeah uh this api will make request and go to google uh database and then uh check whether this uh email id is and password and all the data is present in the database or not then it will return to api whatever the data this website has asked now whenever you um, log in you often see that they say that uh, if you log in with facebook from this website this website will be able to say uh, see your name your friend list and vagara vagara data so then uh, the uh, Google API, uh, the Google database sends these data to API and then API sends it back to this website and then user is registered. So this is how the API works in uh, the login system or then uh, or these login with Google, Facebook and Apple. Okay, so yeah, this was a short video in which I have tried to explain you that how API works. We have seen both the theory as well as some real life examples of how, of how API works. Okay, so let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye.